Hey everyone, Autumn Leaf here. We are in the kitchen. So I got my first Misfits box. And I thought I'd show you what I got in case you were interested in getting this box, what to expect in it. I had a friend on Facebook who got something in hers and she was showing it to me. And I was like, oh man, I'd really like to have that. So I thought I'd give it a try. This box was like $30, $35. You have to have a certain amount to ship um, you can go over and if you want frozen things such as meats then you have to have the 35 in that as well because they have to cold pack it which makes sense I did not get a cold pack I just got um, the regular one which should have some fruits and vegetables in here along with some shelf items So I thought, you know, for $30, $35, it's not bad. It's delivered to you, but we'll see how it looks. I did just get groceries today, and I have to say, if you haven't noticed the increase in prices and you haven't been to the grocery store lately, I was really shocked. Some things, not you don't notice so much, but other things I've noticed a $2 difference, and that really adds up when everything you're buying costs more. So first thing is, we have a frozen pack in here. Keep everything fresh. Now on here, you do see the prices of everything. So you can kind of compare with your local store as to if you're getting a good deal. A lot of the vegetables I felt like was a good deal. Some of the other things, not so much. But you also have to factor in convenience of it being shipped to you versus you having to go to the store and pick it up. So the first thing we have is organic spinach. Now, a lot of the stuff I noticed on there is organic. <sighs> to me, it doesn't matter either way, but I have not had spinach in a long time. It is definitely organic. It is definitely dirty. It's gonna have to be washed, and I'm just gonna cook it like this and eat it. I'm not, I don't have a recipe in mind to use it with. We have some avocados and these are not ripe which I'm glad because I've got so many of them um, if they were super ripe right now I probably wouldn't be able to eat them all before they went bad we got a head of cabbage and I'm thinking the cabbage was a really good deal I think it was like a dollar fifty pretty heavy I got a pack of button mushrooms. Um, we got some confetti pancake mix, where you're, all you have to do is add water, which I love. This is really good if you're camping. And it does have the resealable top. We have, ooh, yes, some dark chocolate covered hazelnuts. Those will go in my office to snack on. We've got, oh, these are blackberries. Let me open them up so you can really see them. Yep, pretty good size, good looking raspberries. I mean, blackberries, I love blackberries. Then we got two cucumbers. And they also are not mushy. They're good and fresh. And it looks like the last thing, now this box I wanna show you is lined and like this felt to help keep it cool. The last thing I got, and this is what I specifically went on there for, was this everything butter. The girl showed this on my Facebook and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Where'd you get it? All right, so this is Fix and Fog Everything Butter. Hemp, almond, peanut, pepita, chai, sesame, sunflower, and flaxseed. That looks like it's gonna be so good. And it says, you know, like put it on toast. I'm thinking it's gonna be good just like it is. Um, 
Mm. Okay, it has like a little bit of oil on top. It needs to be. It smells just like peanut butter. I've got to try this. Let's stir it a little bit. So it's kind of like that organic, you know, where you got a little bit of the oil and you just need to stir it a bit. It is, I would say, a crunchy consistency. So if you don't like crunchy peanut butter, you may not like it. I hope this is good because I'm so excited for it. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. It's a crunchy peanut butter. Not overly sweet. Tastes just like peanut butter. But if you like crunchy peanut butter, you like, you know, some consistency in it. Oh, man. You know what? It's going to take a lot out of here because I think I need a cup of it. And this is not a very big container. This is 10 ounces. But I'm thinking peanut butter cookies with this would be phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. But... This is one I could, you could just get a spoon and be eating it, guys. So I got this box mainly for this. So for $30, I think it was 30 35 I got the peanut butter, some blackberries, two cukes, a bag of avocados, it appears to be six, some button mushrooms, a pretty good size of spinach, cabbage, some hazelnuts and pancake mix so let me know what you guys think I probably will get this a few more times at least um, they will create a box but you can go in there and change it up I think they had uh, a couple things in in mind that I didn't I think they had zucchini and something else I think onions and I have a lot of that right now, so I didn't want any more of that. So I like that you can switch it out. It's not, you're just going to get whatever. You can pick and choose what you want. And you can go over the $30. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Until next time, bye.